Hi guys, it's Hannah and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about boredom. Specifically, why you are most likely bored with life at the moment and what are some things that you can do to combat the sense of boredom. So before you start getting bored with this video, that's something that we don't want to happen, let's get right to it, shall we? All right, so the first reason why you are probably bored with life is because you keep doing the same things every single day. Don't get me wrong. I am a huge advocate for routine and consistency and discipline. I mean, you know those are my vibes, and if you're a subscriber to this channel, those are the overall vibes here, right? But this can backfire just a little bit. Because when you keep doing the same things every single day in the same way and at the same time, life then gets a little monotonous. There is no adventure. There's no spontaneity. Your life is bland. It's flavorless. So with that being said, the best way to combat this is of course to spice it up. <laughs> you see, the problem is that you keep doing the same things that you already know of. You keep doing what you already know, or in this case, you keep eating and drinking the same foods and drinks that you already know the taste of. You keep going to the places that are fun because that's all you know. You keep hanging around the same kinds of people all the time. So yeah, of course there's no sense of adventure. Of course there's no spontaneity because you're not doing anything different. Your life is like one movie that's on replay over and over and over again. You already know how the ending is gonna be. You already know what the action is. Like there's nothing, like there's no spice, there's no flavor. So as the director of your own movie, why don't you just change up the scene? Why don't you just change up the script? Try a different meal when you go out to the restaurant or maybe cook a different meal at home. Order a different drink at Starbucks. Play a different video game instead of COD all the time. Or maybe even start playing video games but obviously not for too long. I mean, it's simple little things like these that can bring you so much satisfaction in your life and can let you say like, wow, okay, like, yes, I decided to switch it up and I may have liked it, I may have not liked it, but at least I did something different and at least my life has a new sense of like meaning to it because you're not living in the same way you know how to live. You're aware and you recognize that there's so much more that you haven't seen, there's so much more that you haven't tasted, there's just so much more that you don't know. And that's when you really start living and that's when you really start appreciating life for what it is. I mean, for me personally, like whenever I go out, I, I order chicken tenders. Like, yes, I am that person. But this week, I decided to spice it up, do something different, and I actually enjoyed the meal. I mean, here, why don't you have a look? <laughs> so we got ourselves, what did we get? A roast beef dinner. We got a roast beef dinner because we are so cool. This is what it looks like. This is the roast beef. Yes, I'm not going to lie to you. I did have some before I filmed. <laughs> And then this is the gravy, the lima beans, the turnip greens, and this is princess. Yes. All I know is that these turnip greens are hitting. I just never would have imagined myself eating lima beans, you know? <laughs> okay guys, so I officially switched it up today and I got a grande iced caramel macchiato with almond milk and cinnamon powder. Don't ask me why, but... Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty good, Daniel. So yeah, that's the first thing. Spice it up. <laughs> okay, the second reason why you are most likely bored with life is because you aren't willing to do things alone. If you are anything like me, like I have no idea why, but the things that I find interesting to do, like going on a hike, taking a hot yoga class, getting a foot detox bath, like going tea testing, like those things genuinely excite me. And for some reason, the people that I associate myself with, they just are not as excited or interested in those things as I am. And it's, it's very sad. And what I used to do, and maybe this is something that you're doing right now, is you're allowing other people to dictate what you do and don't do in your life. Like you're allowing their opinions to reflect your decision to go somewhere, to do something, to try something new. And this, my friend, this is just not any way to live. The thing is, not everyone is going to find the things that you find interesting to be fun and like 
spark their interest. And that's okay. You don't always need people to accompany you everywhere. Like, yes, don't misunderstand me. It is nice to have a plus one. It is nice to go somewhere with a group of friends, but it's also nice to go by yourself too. Like, yes, you can want to go somewhere with somebody, but it's not a necessity. You don't need somebody to do anything in your life. So with that being said, if you want to go somewhere and if nobody's reciprocating that same interest, or if they're bluffing on you, like, oh my God, the bluffs, ugh annoying but if they bluff on you then just say okay forget them and just go by yourself like not in a mean way like forget them but just be like okay like i'll just take myself i'll have fun by myself and i'll enjoy what i want to do by myself because we are strong independent savages here you already know the vibes and also if you're curious and if you've been wanting to spend time by yourself for a while i do have a video my recent video actually that can share with you some ideas and how you can go about doing that so definitely watch that after this video and finally the third reason why you're bored with life is because you've become complacent and aren't learning anything new Life, my friends, is meant to be explored on all levels, intellectually included. I don't know about you, but every time I read a book on someone's like life experiences, or whenever I watch a YouTube video or a movie or li even listen to a podcast on like climate change or the Black Lives Matter movement, I get so inspired and my thoughts become so much more elevated because I've developed an understanding of what we as human beings can accomplish and what more we can do as individuals to make this world a better, brighter, and safer place. I actually tweeted something about this a couple of months ago and it actually has some truth, not act, like yeah, it has truth to it. So let me share it with you. Am I right or am I right? Once your mind is filled with stimulating thoughts and ideas, boredom is just out of the question. And in case you're wondering on how to stimulate your thoughts and get more ideas and just be more excited in general, start watching documentaries, start reading books, start watching movies, like interesting movies that you can learn and grow from. Start listening to podcasts and talking to people one-on-one -on -one because you can learn so much from others, like the experiences of others, like the life lessons that they have. Like when you talk to people, you just learn so much. And I love talking to older adults because I feel like the advice and the wisdom and the stories that they share are just, like there's no price on that. And it just helps me and it inspires me to want to do more and to be more. So yeah, with that being said, those are the three reasons that I have for you today on why you are probably bored with life. There are most definitely other reasons why, but those are the three most prominent ones that I could think of. And that's just what I wanted to share with you. I really hope to opened your eyes, you know, inspired you, and maybe you're gonna try some of the things that I suggested. And if you do, you should definitely let me know in the comment section below. But besides that, I really hope you guys are all staying safe and clean and sanitized and are, you know, wearing your masks and, taking coronavirus seriously because my best friend has actually recently like gotten on me for that because I do live in Florida you know the state with the highest amount of corona cases and yeah but anyways I really hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and stay tuned for our next video which you will see very shortly bye guys